Hello my gorgeous makeup loving friends, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, hi, my name is Teresa. Be Perfect came out with some new lipsticks and lip liners. So there's 10 matte lipsticks and 10 satin lipsticks along with 10 lip liners. And they had a deal on their website where you could get all 30 of the products for 180 euro. And I hate myself. I'm clearly, like I need to be minded. I, I, I don't, it's a whole thing. Anyways, this whole video is a try on. I'll tell you what I think of each of them so that you can figure out if you actually wanna get these and if you do, which ones you do actually wanna get. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, then do please keep on watching. So we're gonna start off with the mattes and I am taking the shade Kiss Me, which is their lip liner. And they gave me two of these, strangely. I'm not missing any, but I'm going to take this, uh, like I'm gonna take the spare and give it to a friend but I'm going to try the shade Kiss Me as the lip liner first. I am now going to use this matte lipstick in the shade Pucker. I'm gonna show you what it actually looks like. So you can see there's sort of like some indentations around it. It's a nice design. Looks very, very pretty. They retail, I believe, for about €13.95 each. So let's try the shade Pucker along with the shade Kiss Me, which, you know, quite apt. So that's what the shade Pucker and Kiss Me looks like together. Don't mind my spot. Um, it's quite a dry formula, um, which obviously matte lipsticks tend to be more dry, but this is probably a little bit more dry than I would be comfortable with, but this is what it looks like. So we're on to the next matte bullet lipstick and I went for the shade Naked. Now this is quite a peach toned nude. So as you can see, it's kind of, it is peachy, a little bit of a pink undertone. But when I went through the lip liners, there wasn't really anything that fully matched, which I was like, how? What is going on here? So I kind of figured, well, I'll try Kiss Me again. So we'll see how that one goes. I am now using Naked. I don't think it's gonna mix very well with this lip liner, but it was all I had that was from the collection that kind of seemed to work. Okay, the two of them did actually work together pretty well. This feels a little bit creamier than the previous formula. So I kind of prefer the way that this feels than Pucker did. So this is what Naked and Kiss Me looks like together. So the next combo I'm going for is the lip liner in the shade Tame. It seems to be quite a brown shade. We'll see how that goes. And I'm going to put it with the shade Mood, which is again, another one of the matte lipsticks. That's what it looks like. Uh, kind of peachy, orangey. I think a little bit darker than the previous one. So I'm just gonna start by putting on Take. It's okay in terms of pigment. I don't think it's the absolute best. I just, I don't seem to really like these lip liners, whatever it is, just, I would say skip on those. Um, I also have quite pigmented lips, so it's struggling to kind of cover that, but we'll try the shade Mood now. Okay, so that's what the two of them look like together. I do think the Take and Mood do work well together. I kind of feel like they should have come out in a way <laughs> sort of, with more lip liners, even though I don't like the lip liners, but I feel like there isn't enough kind of lip liner shades there for the lipsticks that they've come out with. It's really weird. Anyway, this is Take and Mood. So I'm gonna try the lip liner in French Kiss because I think it will go with this matte lipstick in the shade Raw. So this is what Raw looks like now. I'm kind of looking at a lot of these thinking, these are very, very similar. They could have edited them down to like say five lipsticks each, you know, like five in the matte and five in the satin. So let's put on French Kiss. Again, I'm kind of struggling at times to have the pigment from the lip liner cover my own lips, which is not great. We're gonna try the shade Raw now. Okay, again, the formula in that is actually much improved from the first one. So it seems like there's some slight changes in the, in the way that it feels. This is quite comfortable, so I quite like that. So this is what Raw and French Kiss look like together. 
So I have the lipstick Shy and it's quite a, a like a pinky. It's meant to be a pink, like, but like it really doesn't look like it. If you looked at the box, so if you look at the bottom of the box and they kind of give you that indicator of what the shade is, it's very different. As you can see, that's what the bottom of the box actually looks like. So it's a much more pinky shade, kind of a little bit more bright, hard to pick up on the camera. But you can see that the lipstick they have there doesn't entirely capture that. I was gonna try this with the shade Smooch because it looked on the packet like it was gonna be pink, but this is much more orangey. So I think I'm just gonna use the shade Take again and pair this with Shy. I don't know, they're a little bit too similar, lads. You don't need all of them. Don't be a fucking idiot like me. And now we'll try the shade Shy. Oof, I mean, this shows all of the texture on my lips. I've actually been taking pretty good care of my lips. So, ugh, I don't love this one. Um, and it doesn't mix very well with take. It's okay, but definitely, I'm kind of getting to the point where I'm like, oh, what did I, what did you do, Teresa? You are an idiot. Anyways, this is the shade Shy and Take. Real talk lads, why are so many of these the same fucking shade? They look exactly the same. Or maybe I'm just, it's a, it is 11 o'clock at night. Anyways, I have the shade Stare, which on the box, it makes it look like it's red, but it's more kind of like a, kind of a burnty, orangey brown. Again, it's just, it's another nude. And I'm struggling to try and figure out what to put with it. I think, again, I will go with the shade Take, the lip liner. So that's what I'm gonna go with. And now I'm gonna try Stare. Like, is it just me or is there like really not a lot of pigment in it? Or is it maybe just that it's so close to my natural lip color? That could be it, <laughs> to be fair. Like I said, I have very pigmented lips. You know, the Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. Anyways, this is Take and Stare. Okay, it's another quite neutrally lipstick again. This time it's called First Kiss. And I'm gonna put it with the lip liner Moi, which I think it'll go okay with. We'll see. So let's try First Kiss now. This seems so similar to the last one that I'm like, I don't think they're really necessary. I don't know how they managed to do it that so many of them are the same and they have the same formula. It'd be different if it was satin versus matte. Like I'm just doing the matte ones at the moment. So I don't know. I feel like mm, this wasn't executed the best in my opinion. Anyways, this is First Kiss along with Moi. So the next one I have is Plump. It seems to be a much darker sort of a shade. It looks red on camera. It's not in reality. It's more like a burnt bricky sort of a color. And I am going to pair that with the shade Peck as a lip liner, which when I read it initially, I thought it said Feck, which really appealed to me. So let's try this now. Yes, I do look manic, but that's okay. That's okay. I'm gonna try the shade Plump now. Oh, those do not match. What was I thinking? Oh no. Oh well. Okay, this is a bit more the sort of tone that I'm interested in, like that kind of burnt, bricky, almost red. On camera it looks red, in reality, no. Very strange. Anyway, this is what Plump and Peck look like together. So now we're going on to a more red shade. This is the shade Power, which is more kind of like what I'm interested in now. It's more burnt brown almost on, like in reality. The camera is picking it up as being more of like a blue red, it's not. There was only one red liner that came in the set and it's the shade Ox. So we'll see how that looks. I don't love their lip liners, they're quite scratchy. You can get ones in Primark that are much, much better for a fraction of the cost, I'm just saying. Oof, that is a tuggy, tuggy lip liner that kind of hurts a little bit, which 
I don't love. Anyways, we're gonna try the shade Power now and see what that looks like. Okay, this is my favorite so far. I really, really like the shade of this. I think the shade Ox, the, the lip liner, ugh, not great. It, it actually tugs into the skin, like it, it's sharp. I don't know what it is, it's very strange. But this is Ox and Power. This is the very last of the matte bullet lipsticks and this is the shade Heat. It's again another kind of a red tone. So I'm gonna go back in with Ox, which hurts <laughs> at this point. But it could also be that this is the 10th lipstick I have tried. So take what I'm saying with a pinch of salt. Right, let's try the shade Heat now. It's quite a dark red. Oh, I'm excited. The two of those mesh together actually quite nicely. And I will say I, I slightly prefer power over heat, but this one is quite nice. This is heat and ox. At this point, it's the halfway point. I've tried six of the lip liners along with all 10 of the matte bullet lipsticks. So I do find it a bit strange that the lip liners don't fully correspond with the matte. So I'm hoping that the remaining do kind of correspond to the satin. But let's have a little chat about the matte lipsticks. So the formula is okay. It's not wildly drying. There's definitely some that are better than others and there's some that's worse than others. Now the shade Pucker I found was quite drying. That was one of the first ones that I tried. Um, and then I think there's a few that just kind of lack pigment. Again, it could be just that it was so similar to my own lip color that it didn't look fantastic. I think the shades that stand out for me as being some of the best are uh, Power, followed by heat. I liked those the best. Now I do naturally lean towards red lipsticks anyways, so that's what I like. But I did find this was an overall very kind of neutral collection. It looked like there was gonna be a pop of pink at one point uh, when looking at the boxes. So I kinda, I feel like they missed a mark here. It wasn't as diverse as it could have been. They're really lacking or missing out on like really deep, dark brown tones. It all feels a bit Caucasian to me. Like it looks fine on me, but for for people of a darker skin tone, I think you're gonna struggle with some of these. They're not they're not very inclusive. Um I think these are very much middle of the road. They're okay. If you want nice lipsticks um that aren't gonna break the bank, I would actually suggest Beauty Bay. I, I don't feel that confident in recommending the matte bullet lipsticks based upon what I've tried. They're all right, middle of the ground. I would give them about a five out of 10, you know? Kinda, uh, kinda wish I hadn't gotten them. You know, if I could turn back time, as Cher would say, I wouldn't get them, you know? Uh, but let's hope I have a little bit more luck with the satin lipsticks and that's the next part. Okay, so we're on to the satin lipsticks and I'm looking through the lip liners and like of the lip liners that are left, I can't really see like what lipsticks they correspond to. I'm so struggling with that. It's like they just arbitrarily picked out these because I'm like, meh. Like there's a really deep dark brown, like really like almost black. And I'm like, which one of these are you meant to go with? Like there's ombre and then there's like, Ooh, what are you doing? Anyways, I decided I'd try this one. It's Pucker Up. And this is the shade Mood, which there was a mood in the matte. So this is the satin version, presumably. But they did screw up and send me two of the same lip liners. So hard to know. So this is Pucker Up. Let's, let's give it a go. Oh, fuck me. That is very, very dark. That is not gonna go with this. <laughs> like this... Do you see what I mean about how their lip liners are not corresponding with the lipsticks that they have? I'm so, so confused, be perfect. And again, this is another tuggy, scratchy, pulley lip liner. Mmm, I don't like it. Yeah. Anyways, this is, it does smell nice. Okay, that's, that's good. We're gonna try the shade Mood. This is not gonna match this at all. Like this is. <laughs> Their, their lip liner, two lipsticks make zero sense, like none. Oh my God, that is an absolute disaster. That looks 
horrible. Oh man, okay, let's let's get a, a lip brush and see can we salvage. Also, there just isn't a lot of pigment in this either. Like it's quite, it's quite odd. I will also say the the bullet in the component it feels like it's rocking about an awful lot. Like it doesn't feel very secure. It feels a bit cheap. Ugh. Which is not like it's it's expensive. They're like thirteen euro ninety five each. So I'm just I'm gonna try and do another layer of this just to see. Yeah, it's okay. I like the formula. Like it feels nice. Like it's it's a satin, so it's not gonna be drying in the same way that a matte is. I'm gonna say it now. I fucking hate these lip liners. They pull, they tear, they tug, they scratch. They do all the things you do not want them to do. Um, I had a spare one. I actually like I was gonna like an extra one that they put in, and I was like, oh, I might give this to somebody. No. I'm not forcing that on anyone. It's just, it's just bad. It's just bad. But this is, oh God, which one is it? Pucker up and mood. So this is the second bullet lipstick from the satin collection. Now they are actually all called the same name as like the matte ones. So it is a bit confusing. Um, I am just trying to go through the lip liners that I haven't tried yet, and I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> like what they go with. I'm gonna try smooch along with this shade which is Naked. I don't think it's gonna work at all uh, but I cannot fucking figure out what they have done. Like what, like these 10, like if these 10 lipsticks are the same as the other 10 but just like one is matte and one is satin, then why is it that like a whole chunk of those 10 lip liners that they have do not correspond? I'm not amazing with makeup, I will say that, but I, I don't get this. Like, I I, mm. <laughs> I don't love it. Anyways, we'll try this one, it's Smooch. Okay, that one's still kind of sharp and a little bit tuggy as well, so it's just how they are. Gonna try Naked now, we'll see. Did the two of those go together? Absolutely not, but I was really struggling to try and figure out like which of these would go together. But anyways, look, this is Smooch and Naked. I do think that the formula feels a lot nicer. Normally I would go more for mattes than satins, but because those mattes are a little bit more drying than, than the norm, I'd almost go for the satins over this, but uh, so far, not wildly impressed. I don't even think it's worth the reduced price of the 180 for all of them. Why do I make such poor decisions? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to try and pair the Satin of Raw along with Tame. I've been calling this Take when it was actually Tame. So let's see what that looks like. Again, the pigment on these kind of struggles to outdo my lips, which isn't great. Um, and I'm already getting to the point where I'm gonna have to like pair that, which I don't think is great. <laughs> like I've literally just gotten these. Anyways, let's try raw. Yeah, at least the two of these actually like go together. It's not like a fucked up thing, but I just can't figure out what the rest of the, like there's, there's two other lip liners here. Um, bite me and hot and heavy and I cannot fucking figure out for the life of me because they are dark browns. There are no browns in this collection. So I cannot figure out what they are meant to go for or with. It's really weird. But this is tame and raw. So I was actually looking at the, the two lip liners that are left that I cannot figure out what to put them with. And it says that Bite Me is a muted golden brown and that Hot and Heavy is a deep brown. There's nothing in this collection that goes with that. I'm so confused. There's at least three or four liners here that don't go with the lipsticks that were put here at all. And there's quite a few of the lipsticks then that need lip liners that just aren't there. Like, I think this is a really ugh, poorly, poorly executed collection. But anyways, I'm gonna try this next one and I'm gonna try and put Moi, the lip liner, with the shade Shy. See, I think the problem with the lip liners is they actually feel like sharp and pointy. Like it feels like almost like I'm rubbing metal against. It's really, really weird. I've never had a lip liner like that. I don't like it. Like, ugh, it's not for me. If you like a creamy formula, 
uh, stay away <laughs> is all I can say. Um, I'm gonna try the shade Shy now. Again, it's like the bullet wobbles an awful lot in the component. Like it's real, I can feel it wobbling. It's, yeesh. Ooh, I've gotten better lipsticks and pennies. I can just say it. Okay, uh, I mean, the two of these shades didn't actually mesh at all. This is Moi and Shy together. Uh, it's okay, I think I'm actually gonna get to a point now we're gonna stop using the lip liners with the lipsticks because I just don't think that they mesh very well and I, I don't like the lip liner formula. I just don't, it tugs, it's sharp, it's not good. Okay, I'm not doing lip liners anymore. It's just, they're awful, so I'm not doing it. I'm gonna try the shade First Kiss now. Too many of these shades are similar to each other, so we'll see. Yeah, this is what First Kiss looks like. I mean, it's fine. Like, it's all right. I wouldn't normally go for this shade. You know, I could do without it. Too many of the, the shades are just too close in tone, in my opinion. But this is what first kiss looks like. Friends, this is what giving up looks like. Um, this next one is Pucker. So we'll see how this one looks. Again, not doing the lip liners anymore. They're bad, <laughs> they're bad. Go for pennies, go for Primark. Okay, this is, awful. <laughs> this is so bad. Like, I'm struggling to get it to stick. I've never had a lipstick be patchy before. <laughs> this is, um, this is an experience, isn't it? Mmm. Anyways, ugh. <laughs> Look, if you don't laugh, you cry. That's all I'm saying. Uh, this is the shade Pucker which is quite, quite apt, because it does, ah, oh, it's on my teeth, ugh, it does make my lips look like an arsehole, just puckered up and ready for I don't know what. Anyways, this is pucker. Now we're gonna try the shade Stair, so again, it's the same sort of shade as matte version, but a satin one. I mean, it's just basically my existing lip color, like it's fine, <laughs> but my lips are already this color, so don't really need it. Um, but if you do like this color, like it feels okay. This one at least, well, I mean, I can't tell if it's patchy <laughs> because my lips are the same color, but it's okay. You know, I'm, try I'm trying to be positive, lads. I'm trying to be positive, like this is. <sighs> oh, anyways, this is the shade Stare. Our next shade is Plump, so that's quite a, a darker shade. We'll give this a go. I mean, I like the tone of this. I just think it really sucks that there's no lip liner to match with this. Like I have to go through my collection I'm after spending 180 euro and there's no lip liner that fully matches this. Like I have loads of lip liners, I do. Like I, I, I do, realistically, like I couldn't probably pick up like some Morphe ones or whatever, but if you spent this much, you'd want it all there. Like, I just, oh, I don't know. I mean, this is plump. It is a nice color. It does feel nice. You know, it's a satin formula. So it's not bad, like. We're on to the penultimate satin. This is the shade Heat. Now I did like this in the matte, not as much as I liked Power. Like and Prince Jonathan playing a lot of villainous, it's a lot of fun. Let's give this one a go. Yes, I can use it with a lip liner, Ox. I do not want to. It physically hurts. It, I'm not doing that to myself. Anyways, let's give this one a go. I mean, I do like the shade of that. I think it's really, really nice. The satin feels really, really lovely. Um, I can't give out to them about the lip liner not matching because it does. It's just not a nice formula. This is the shade Heat. 
I figured that before we went for the very last satin lipstick, I would kind of talk a bit more about these two kind of lip liners that are left over. One is called Hot and Heavy, and it says on the side that it's a deep brown. So you've seen all of the lipsticks now. You can see there's no deep brown. So this is what this one looks like. As you can see, it is definitely a deep brown. And there was already a deep brown in the lip liners that I tried. So you can see, like, this doesn't go with anything. And then we have Bite Me, and that says that it's a muted golden brown. So I'm going to show you what that looks like now. So again, it's another brown lip liner for a collection that has essentially no browns. It's so weird, but they put in essentially three brown lip liners. I don't understand it. So let's try the very last satin shade. This is Power. I liked the matte version of this. Let's see. Oh, I love this shade. This is nice. And yeah, I am aware I could have put a lip liner with it, but I'm just, I'm not messing with that. It's like midnight now. Anyways, this is the shade Power in the Satin Formula. So that is the whole thing together. Let's, let's review. Okay, I do think it's very smart that they have taken the same shade of lipsticks and made them into a matte and a corresponding satin. I think that's smart. There's a few that don't quite work. It's very weird. Like. Pucker looks different as a satin than it does as a matte. I do not understand it. I think the standouts for me are power and heat. I would sooner go for power, you know. Um, I just, I don't think it's a good collection. I think it's very disjointed. The lip liners do not match with these things. I think that's one of the things I find really confusing, like genuinely confusing. The pigment is meh. Um, the matte lip uh, lipsticks are, they're all right. There is a somewhat drying formula, more to some than there is to others. Like there's some that are like easier to wear. The satins, some of them are like lovely, like this one. And then some of them are just so patchy, like pucker. That was a shit show. So I had said actually before that I would give the mattes maybe a five out of 10. Um, I'm kind of sticking with that. I think it's quite generous. I would give the lip liners a two out of ten. I think they are fucking trash. I'm not even mincing my words on that one. I think they are awful, awful. Do not go near them. Like they actually started to physically hurt, and like I could feel the the wood actually like against my lips. Like it's it's I don't know. It's really weird. Um, the satins not great, not great. Like uh, some of them ended up being patchy. The fuck was that about? I'll give them a four out of 10. Overall, this entire collection, I think is overpriced. Um, it is disjointed. It's badly put together, uh, poorly executed. I would give it a three out of 10. Do not bother, do not. Even the shapes that I do like, the, the power, the heat, etc. Don't don't bother getting them. You can get other shades from other brands that are much better. Uh, this week, MAC came out with their Rethink Pink collection. I know a lot of you guys don't necessarily like MAC because they're not cruelty free, but they're, they're a good alternative. Beauty Bay do some really nice ones. Vive does my favorite nude lipstick of all time. I would go with them. I. I hate this. I'm I'm really disappointed with this. Um, I loved Be Perfect's um Supreme Liquid Formula. Like I thought that was really really good, and they did some really nice colors and really nice shades. This is absolutely it is terrible. <laughs> like it's so bad. This was a 180 euro mistake, which you really wouldn't want someone to say that to you like you're a 180 euro mistake. I'd be cheap if I was only 180 euros. Just saying. Um, No, fucking hate it. Oh my God, just trash. Like, I don't know what I'm gonna do with these. Like the lip liners, there's two I didn't even bother opening, like using. Um, and of course that extra one that they randomly put in, I don't know what I'm gonna do with them because I wouldn't even give them to other people because I think they're really, really bad. And the, the lipsticks that I have, I don't know what I'm gonna do with them either. Um, like it feels really bad to have spent that amount of money and then not really have anything that's like worth using. Like I know they all averaged out as being six euro per thing. I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't even think they're worth the six euro each. Two euro each, maybe. Anyways, that was kind of negative, wasn't it? Ugh, took a turn, took a turn, lads. Anyways, that's that's it. Do please like, comment, and subscribe because it's just 
it's nice. You know, it's polite. Let's be nice on the internet. Let's not be mean. Do please share, because sharing is caring, unless, of course, it's an STD, in which case, you know, wrap it up. Don't be gross. Well, that's it. That's the end of the video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Thank you.